Hey guys, Sonny the Badger here. If it's your first time here, welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, welcome back guys. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about things I learned when I put 16 inch apes on Mama Badger's fully custom fat boy here behind me. So uh, let's get into it. All right guys, so last year, um, as most of you know, on our 13,000 mile trip, the first day of it, Mama Badger's bike broke, so we ended up with her riding a Heritage um, for our long trip, and the Heritage had ape hangers on it, and she's always had drag bars on her bike. So after that trip, she's like, I really want apes on my bike. So I've never put apes on a bike, um, installed anyway, um, and I decided to tackle it with hers. So I'm gonna go over a little bit of what I did, what I learned. Um, this isn't necessarily a video of how to do it because there are lots of those out there. This is more things I learned, the parts I bought, where I got the parts from, and uh, stuff like that. So anyway, I did, what we did was we went on Amazon um, and kind of got the look that she was looking for. And then we actually ordered multiple sets of handlebars. So we bought 16s and 18s so that I could get the bike tore apart, put the bars on the bike and have her sit on it and test it out to see which ones worked better. The reason I ordered two uh, was because I didn't want to get her bike all apart. And then we get the 18s and they're too tall or we get the 16s and they're too short. Uh, so I wanted to give that option. So I just went ahead and ordered them both. And the beauty of Amazon, right, is uh, all I had to do was say, I don't want this anymore and take it and drop it off at the UPS store. They send it back. I get my money back. Um, no questions asked. So that is uh, one really good point I learned in doing this. Uh, buy what you need. So not only did we buy handlebars, but we also bought um, Burley makes a kit that has a new brake line, new clutch cable, new wiring, um, all the things you need to replace your cables and everything for your apes. So they make a 16 inch kit and an 18 inch kit. So we bought both of those. Um, we did need risers because her old handlebars were all one piece um, drag bars. So uh, we had to replace the risers. Um, I found the little one inch risers, got those on Amazon as well. All of these parts will be listed um, here in the video description below uh, if you guys are interested in them. Uh, I'll throw a picture of the risers I got up here. I just got a little short black one inch. Um, and then beyond that, I got new hand grips. Um, I did get grips with flames on them because her, her entire bike is a custom flame paint job. Even the wheels are cut in flames. So we wanted to stay with the flame theme. So I bought those as well. Um, so I got 16 inch handlebars. I got the kit with all the cables and everything. I got the risers and I got the grips. And for all of that, I spent a little over $400. Then of course, my time to put it on there. Um, the one thing that is not included in the kit that you will have to get is you will need a gasket for the side of your transmission when you pull that off to replace your clutch cable. So I just went to the local Harley dealership. It was $5.95, I think, for that um, gasket. So I just ran down there, grabbed that, and put that in there. So for under 500 bucks, and uh, I would say in total working time, it probably took me about eight hours um, to do. And it was my first time, and I'm pretty cautious when I do stuff like this. The other thing I was faced with is when I got in there, when they put the original drag bars on, they kind of whacked up the um, wiring harness. So I went in and fixed it correct. I guess, so here's the situation that I ran into. As you can see, they did some soldering and wiring here. I don't know what for, because then you come back here and they did it again. So they put connectors under electrical tape. So I'm gonna have to fix all of that. Um, I'm gonna be fixing other wiring while I'm in here. They did that on both sides. So anyway, just a little extra electrical repair. Um, and that takes time, right? When you have to tear something somebody's done apart, cut out the junk, re-solder, put everything back together, do all the fun stuff, that takes time. So that took me a little longer to correct what had been done. But I mean, if you're gonna do it, do it right. Um, so I spent a little extra time doing that 
um, just to make sure it was right. Of course, then you've got to adjust uh, your throttle cables, you've got to adjust your clutch cable, you've got to bleed out your brake system. I mean, all of those things you have to do as well. So, um, you know, all that stuff takes a little time, but I mean, honestly, probably a full day's work is what it took um, for me to get those mounted on the bike. So I've kind of told you about it. Now I'm gonna take you to the bike and kind of show you um, some of the stuff. Uh, one of the things was how I pulled the wires um, through the bars. Uh, that was, for me, one of the most intimidating pieces, right? I watched a few videos. Everybody has their own way of doing it. Um, I actually didn't do it any way that they recommended. <laughs> I found my own way of doing it. And you may find your own way to do it as well. Um, as long as it gets the job done, it doesn't matter. There's no right, there's no wrong to doing it. Um, like I said, I just found my own way and I recorded a video showing what I did. I'll throw that in here. All right, guys, first off, I had some cable um, in my toolbox. I honestly do not know where it came from, but it is pliable, as you can see here. So it's, it's just metal cable, but it does bend. And so I actually ran the wires while it was still on the bike. So what I did was I fed it up from the bottom instead of from the top. Um, I fed it up um, through here and then up to here. And what it did was it stopped right at the top. So I took this pick tool. See with the hook? I took the pick tool. I stuck it up in where the wires come out. You can see it right there. Um, I stuck it up in there, hooked the cable and fed it the rest of the way out. It took me two minutes to run that through. Then I'm just going to, of course, tape all my wires to the end of that wire and I'm gonna push it back through. So you guys can see what I did. Um, I actually did it on the bike instead of on the bench. So then I didn't have to hold the actual handlebars and the wires and try to feed it through the bike did that for me but anyway let's go look at the bike and i'll show you what the end product turned out like all right guys so here they are mama badgers new ape hangers so um you can see the little one inch risers that i got there they are nice fat bars which we really liked there of course is mama badger's new hand grips um, and then of course all the cabling and wires that needed to be ran down um, into uh, you know their positions so you got a brand new clutch cable with it uh, you got um, your throttle cable and all um, and of course your brake line so you just have to run those and uh, do all the necessary things to make those set up right for me probably the thing i hated the most was <laughs> always connecting those throttle cables. Those, that to me is probably the biggest pain in the butt of anything I did. Um, I don't know why, but dealing with those little bitty, <laughs> those little bitty cables and then trying to slide them in the slot is just an absolute pain in the butt. Uh, worked out really good because they are wider. So um, Mama Badger's phone mount is right there. Her cup holder is right there, so we could fit both of those in. She does run a windshield. Um, she's got plenty of room for everything she needs. She can see out her windshield great. She loves the new mirror position, so um, I like that. One of the big reasons that she went to Apes, as you can see, she has a backrest. With the drag bars, she could touch the backrest, and if she pulled off one arm, she could lean against it, but now she can full lean against her backrest. She said it's like riding in a recliner. Now, Mama Badger is about six feet tall, and these handlebars are right at her shoulder height. So um, they ended up being perfect. Um, the 18s would have probably been too tall for her, um, because I mean, this wasn't about bragging about how big her apes were or any of that. She literally was just looking for comfort and for it to fit her the right way. So of course, once we got her on the bike and fitted on the bike, uh, bolted everything down, uh, it worked perfectly. So anyway, guys, there is the finished product. I didn't go too heavily into the statistics 
of the bar's width, size, any of that other than being 16s. Uh, like I said, below uh, you'll find a link to the exact product I bought. It has all of the stats on there if you want to know the distance in between them, um, width, all of that. Um, it's all there for you. You can also uh, click the link and see the Burley kit I bought for everything. Um, and, and literally everything I bought is right there in the link, except for the gasket for the side of the transmission. I went to Harley and got that for, like I said, I think it was six bucks. Anyway, guys, that's what I learned putting Mama Badger's H on her bike. Um, it's kind of an intim intimidating uh, job when you first get started, but guys, it's really simple. I mean, you're talking about full, pulling off the front area around the headlight. Uh, you got two bolts holding your handlebars in place, right? Or four bolts if you're unbolting the riser. Uh, you gotta unhook the brake line, the clutch cable, and the throttle cables. And then you've gotta run the wiring through the bars and then uh, rewire it and plug it in. Guys, it's pretty simple. Take your time doing it. Make sure you match up all your wires. Um, did have to pull the gas tank off because my wires are clipped in underneath the gas tank. But like I said, again, it's just not that big of a deal. I will say this, for the side clutch cover, I watched a lot of videos and they were like, well, you just loosen up the exhaust and you can wiggle it out of your way. I found doing that um, led to me getting frustrated, trying to hold it out of my way and, and take out the bolts. I ended up pulling her exhaust completely off. Um, on bam, bam, bam did my clutch cover, changed my clutch cable, bam, 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 put it all back together. Um, and it may have taken me a little bit longer to put the exhaust and tip off and on, but um, for me, it was totally worth it. Uh, not to mention, you know, I had the exhaust off, so I could take a look around, see if there was anything out of the ordinary I noticed, and then bolt it all back on. So you guys can do whatever you want there. Um, like I said, a lot of videos say just to loosen the exhaust up, but for me, it's four, four bolts plus the mounting bolts, so six total bolts, and I did have to pull off her passenger floorboard, which is two more bolts. So for eight bolts, I could pull it all the way out of my way, and then I could get down there and make sure that everything was done properly, tightened down properly, and ready to roll. So, okay guys, as I said, it is an intimidating job from the outside looking in, but if you have any kind of mechanical ability, um, I think you'll be able to do this just fine. Um, of course, if you don't feel comfortable tackling it, take it to your local shop. Uh, I'm sure they'll do a great job for you, but if you're like me and you like to work on your own stuff and figure it out, um, and it just gets me out of the house and into the garage um, working on motorcycles, uh, then uh, definitely a job that you could tackle. Um, on a skill level, maybe a five out of a 10, um, if that. So um, like I said, you can do it if you want to, but if you're intimidated by it, then take it to your local shop. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today. If any of this information was useful, please hit that subscribe button. Um, you can leave me your comments. I would love to hear from you. You can ring the bell icon. You'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And uh, of course, guys, remember, it's not about the destination. It's all about the ride. See you next week. There she goes, first ride.